A second man has been charged with murder after 23-year-old Levi Johnson was stabbed to death outside a Brisbane gym on Monday, while two others are still on the run from police. The 34-year-old Burkdale man was arrested during a search warrant at a Burkdale home yesterday morning. Overnight he was charged with murder, possessing dangerous drugs, possessing a weapon and contravening an order relating to a digital device. Live updates, huge crowds gather in London ahead of solemn Queen procession he is expected to front Brisbane Magistrates Court today, as will a 34-year-old man from East Brisbane who was yesterday also charged with murder over the attack on Monday. The East Brisbane man was arrested on Monday near the scene of the attack. Meanwhile, police are still searching for two other men during their investigation of the alleged murder, 35-year-old Thomas Myler and 24-year-old Kyle Martin. Detective Superintendent Andrew Massingham said the men could potentially be armed, and that was in the interests of public safety that both men be taken into police custody immediately. Read more, motorists urged to fill up before double whammy for prices hit Superintendent Massingham said police carried out searches at properties in Ransom and Burkdale yesterday afternoon. A third search at a property in Burkdale this morning led to police arresting a 34-year-old man, different to the man charged with murder. Superintendent Massingham said it was believed the men could all be linked to the fairly unknown 13 Kings gang, which has a presence in Kapalaba. He said police believed the men had been watching the victim before he was attacked on Monday. Read more, Inside Horse Riders special Scottish tribute to Queen Elizabeth said detectives believed the victim realized he was being followed and pulled into the car park of a Mansfield gym to seek refuge when he was allegedly attacked about 1 p.m. on Monday. The victim was allegedly pursued by a black Audi and rammed by a Nissan patrol before five men piled out of the cars and smashed the driver's side window with a crowbar. Police say they chased the victim as he tried to flee from the passenger door, and that he was stabbed multiple times in the torso by one of the men before four of the men fled in the Nissan patrol. The fifth man fled on foot. Superintendent Massingham said police had not found a Nissan patrol, which they believed was still in the area.